So this morning I was up a little bit early at the crack of dawn and I went for a walk in my backyard. As you can see right here, we got a little bit of rain last night. Now after that, I made my way to the front yard and I was happy to see that my son had mowed the lawn. What I wasn't happy to see is he didn't sweep the front walk. As you can see, we've got grass everywhere. Now you may be thinking, what does any of that have to do with you finding the perfect scent? Well, gents, think about it. What do those two things I talked about earlier have in common? Being outside right after it rained and fresh cut grass. Gents, if you didn't pick it up from the hints, the answer is both of them have a unique smell that people around the world absolutely love. I mean, think about it. The smell of coffee, caramel, vanilla, chocolate. And what's really interesting about this is how a pleasurable scent can actually make us more receptive. In fact, in one study, they had the same guy asking women out, but when he asked them out in the presence of something that smelled really good, they were next to a coffee shop, they were next to a bakery. The chance of him getting that woman's phone number doubled when they were in the presence of a pleasurable scent. That being said, this can also work in reverse. An example of this, a lot of those veterans that have been exposed to mustard gas had an adverse reaction to the smell or even being in the presence of horseradish. My point, gentlemen, finding the perfect scent is worth it because it affects not only how you feel about yourself, but also how others perceive you. So how to find the perfect scent? What's my step-by-step -step process? So to start with, I start by asking questions. The first one, how does this fragrance make you feel? All right, Jen, so here's the deal. We all know that as men, we are told to repress our feelings, but that's not healthy. And when it comes to fragrances, I'll tell you one of the great things about this hobby, or even simply having a fragrance that you love, is that it brings you joy every time you put it on. Now, does that mean you need to wade through 600 bottles like me? No, God! No, what you want to do is ask yourself the next question, what do I really like? What particular notes are you drawn to? And again, the issue with a lot of guys is that they've got hangups. They think for some reason that men shouldn't like florals. Gents, I'm here to tell you, get rid of that thinking. There are tons of floral notes that are incredibly masculine that you'll find in some of the best fragrances ever made. Notes like iris, lavender, jasmine. These can all be found in classic men's fragrances that are going to have you smelling amazing. Or maybe you like something sweet, you like something fruity, caramel, vanilla. Oftentimes, these are grouped in with the gourmands, but there are tons of options here. My point is, don't be afraid to like what you like. Now, that takes me to the next question, but do you understand the basics of men's fragrance? Now, let me be clear. I am not saying that you need to become an expert, but I will say that the more that you know, the more likely you're going to find what you're looking for. Reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from Yogi Berra. If you don't know where you're going, you're going to wind up somewhere else. Well, the same thing applies here, but think of it like swimming. You don't need to be an Olympic swimmer to be able to survive if you get knocked off a boat and you've got to swim to shore. You just need to know the basics. Yeah, you're not going to look amazing out there, but you're going to survive. Well, with fragrances, one of the first things to understand is that there are fragrance families. For simplicity, I'm going to break it into four. In general, General. Men who have grown up in the West are going to love citrus fragrances and they are going to love wood fragrances. Now, as I said earlier, there are tons of masculine floral fragrances, but with that family, you're going to also have particular notes and accords that many guys are going to feel are feminine. Now, Oriental is going to be a bit more advanced. Usually, we're going to see a number of spicier, heavier, stronger fragrances here, which if you grew up in India or the Middle East and you're used to those type of scents, you could be drawn to them. But for a lot of guys, they're going to feel they're too overpowering. Now, you're also going to hear about top, middle, and base notes. And this is is important because if you buy a complex fragrance and you love the way it smells on paper or when you first spray it, but later in the day, you're like, man, this doesn't smell like what I thought. And if you buy a complex fragrance, I want to make sure that you find one that you love the top note, the middle note, and the base notes all together. You get like three in one with some of these. Now, gents, if you want all those charts and infographics in one place, I'm going to link down in the description of today's video over to the Brotherhood of Scent. This is our free fragrance group where we've got the courses, we've got all the infographics, and you can talk to, meet, and learn from men all around the world that are interested in fragrance. Now, the next question you want to ask yourself, what are your particular needs? Now, if you're working from home, you can choose a fragrance that just makes you feel good, one that actually puts you in the mood to work. And yes, fragrances can do that. You can also wear as much as you want because you don't have to worry about anybody but yourself smelling the fragrance. However, if you're still going into the office, if you're going into the gym, if you're going to be going around town, you probably want to be a little bit more conscious of other people. First up, if you're going to be on an airplane, you don't want to wear something that's going to choke other people out. And don't forget about the climate. If you're going to be over in Singapore, down in South Texas, the fragrances you're going to want to choose are going to be lighter in general than if you're up in Toronto or Northern Europe. Now, when it comes to seasons and fragrances, I'm not going to say that you have to stick with the general rules, but what we see are lighter citrus woods. These type of fragrances are great for summer versus cooler weather. That's when we're going to see the gourmands. That's when we're going to see the orientals. That's when we're going to see those heavier fragrances. Now, this next question is one most guys don't even think of, and it's important to ask, are you buying a fragrance that is fashionable versus 
timeless. So both these fragrances I'm holding right here have come out within a year of each other and they smell eerily similar. Now, I'm not going to say anything bad about these fragrances. I like them, but they are crowd pleasing fragrances that in my opinion are going to be dated within four to five years. A better choice in my opinion is when a man goes a little bit deeper, finds a fragrance that was maybe released a decade ago that was unique then and is unique now and really is a timeless classic that can easily become his signature scent. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, Antonio, are you just going to tell me what the perfect fragrance is? And no, it's not Creed Aventus, at least for me. I know for many of you guys, it is this fragrance. What I love about it, it's incredibly versatile. When it first came out, incredibly unique. But nowadays, there are tons of clones because it's a profile, it's a unique scent that people absolutely love. It gets compliments. It works on a wide variety of situations, and I think it works for a lot of different skin types. That being said, it's expensive. It doesn't last very long. And in my opinion, Versace Mana Fresh, I like the scent of more. Now, I know they're very different, and this one is more of a citrus aquatic, but for the price, the longevity, and I do think that this has a unique scent profile. I have to say that if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with this one. And again, gents, that's the point I want to drive home is find what you love, what works for you, because the perfect scent is going to be different for every man. And who cares if it comes in a gaudy bottle and it's the 10th flanker in the line? I'll tell you this Invictus Parfum, when you get your nose on it, I think that this one is really smooth, really nice. The same thing with the Zaros, the most wanted intense. People look at the bottle, they think it's gimmicky. They think, how different can this flanker be than the other ones in the collection? Jens, I have to say, Azaro surprised me with this one. I really like it. But the perfect fragrance for me really depends on how I'm feeling, what I want to wear that day. And I have to admit, I got quite a few in my collection. Right here, we've got Sergeoff's 40 Knots. If you haven't seen this fragrance, absolutely beautiful. Think of Aqua Di Joe Profumo, except at a higher level. Better ingredients, longevity, and there's just something different, just something higher end about this particular scent. Another fragrance that could possibly own the title of perfection is M. Mikulev's Desire Toxic Intense. This thing is absolutely beautiful, versatile, and really unique. I had nothing like this in my collection. And I get it. For some of you guys, that may be really important. You want to wear a fragrance that no other man in your town is going to be wearing. And if that is you, you should check out the Spirit of Dubai, in particular, the fragrance right here, Bahar. Now, there are quite a few things about this fragrance I absolutely love. First up, it's got longevity, it has projection, and it works well in hot weather. Now, from the note breakout, you can see it's a pretty complex fragrance, and I will say it does lean unisex. Despite that, though, I really like it, and I thought it was really cool that this brand also sends you a travel case. I mean, why aren't more brands doing this? If you're traveling with a 50 ml bottle of fragrance, you don't want it to get broke, and uh, I just love how this fits right on there. Now, gents, I admit, some of those fragrances are hard to find, but not if you go over to today's sponsor, Max Aroma. Now, gents, I've talked about Max Aroma before, but what I love about this brand is simply the selection and the speed of delivery and knowing that every time you order a fragrance from Max Aroma, you are going to get the real thing. And one of the things I'm encouraging you in this video is to actually get a sample before you buy a full bottle. And what I love about Max Aroma is that they've got tons of samplers that you can try before you get a full bottle of any of these fragrances. And again, when it comes to hard to find niche fragrances from houses like M. Mikulov, Sergeoff, Ortho Parisi, Creed, Parfums de Marley, The Spirit of Dubai, or houses like Al Habra. What you're going to find is over at Max Aroma, these guys are fragrance enthusiasts, and they're going to have those hard to find fragrances all at the best price. So, gents, go over to the website, check out the selection, check out the options. One of the best options and one of my personal favorites whenever I'm out there buying my own fragrances. And of course, gents, I make sure you always get the best deal on the web. So, use the link in the description of today's video to go over to Max Roma and get the best deal on the web. So, now let's address the question of price. Gentlemen, let me be clear. You do not have to spend a lot of money to get an amazing fragrance. In fact, this one right here, I think is very comparable and it's a fraction of the cost of this one. The best advice I can give you on price is shop where you feel comfortable. I get it. Some of you guys don't want to spend more than $20 on a bottle. Some of you guys are willing to spend over $500. On a bottle. As a guy that has spent his own money to buy over 95% of my collection, I can say that I shop at discounters around the web. And the best deals, in my opinion, that can be found are for fragrances that have been out for a while that are selling at discounters. That being said, understand particular fragrances, especially from niche houses, are going to be more expensive because they spend a lot more money on the packaging, the presentation in general. The juice in the bottle is going to be of better quality. But getting back to our first question, gents, don't be afraid to want 
what you want. And if a fragrance that, yes, is very popular, it seems like a lot of guys wear it, but you just absolutely love the scent, then go for it. Make this your signature scent. Or maybe it's an old school classic that gives you feelings of nostalgia. If you haven't figured it out, I think a man should wear fragrance for himself. So taking all those questions, breaking it into a step-by-step, step number one, understand the basics. Step number two, have the courage to know what you want identify your preferences. Step number three, research and sampling. I'm going to straight up tell you the best way to find a fragrance that you love is to go into a store and put a little bit on. You're supposed to do that. Don't be afraid to just spray a little bit on. Be careful if you're, you know, traveling duty-free. You don't want to choke out the guy next to you that's going to be on that airplane with you. But nothing beats actually wearing a fragrance a few times before you commit to a full bottle. That being said, blind buying is possible if you can find influencers, you can find reviews, you start to understand more about fragrances. And I really do like, if you go over to Fragrantica, I love how they say that this thing smells smells like this. That really helps if you own a fragrance to be able to find something that's similar to it, but a bit different. My next step is I like to have a hit list, especially if you are on limited funds. Again, you're looking for when there are sales, there are deals. I've been into Sephora and Ulta and a couple times a year, they seem to have sales on fragrances, but I remember I found Aqua Di Joe Profondo lights the other day on sale for 50% off. So look for those deals. They are out there and you stand a better chance of finding what you're looking for when you know what you're looking for. And finally, step number five, make the purchase. Understand that sometimes you're going to buy something that you don't love, but view it like playing a little bit of the lottery, except your chances are pretty good when you do the research. When you find something you absolutely love, wear the heck out of it. Gents, the average 100 ml bottle has 1,400 sprays. Do the math on that. This thing can last you a few years if you just spray three times a day. So even if you're a heavy sprayer, you're probably going to get a solid six months to full year wear out of this. So the reality is in most cases, you're paying a few pennies a day to smell amazing and to feel great. Now, if you pay attention to the details, you may be saying, Antonio, you never mentioned what is your perfect fragrance. You've got like 500 and some odd 600 bottles. Guys, I cover that in this video right here. I go through and I say, which one would I keep of all the fragrances in my collection? Come on, you know I had to send you to another video, but it's a good one. I break out all the fragrances or most of them in my collection and why I would choose the ones that I do. So uh, yeah, check it. And yes, both of these fragrances here are freaking amazing.